Watch you guys got another video here for you on how to back up your user profiles and transfer it to a new PC for free. Now, if you've got all of your user data, like your pictures, music, downloads, documents, desktop, videos, all that sort of good stuff stored on your PC, you may want to back all this up and then reinstall it on a new PC or just maybe format your PC and reinstall it. This is where PC Data Back comes in. It's a professional backup and restore tool for Windows, which allows you to easily back up and restore user profiles and all the data in those user profiles. So it's very useful for uh, maybe migrating to a new computer, or maybe you just want to uh, format your system and basically reinstall all your user profile as it was uh, before you formatted. This tool also comes in the premium version of UVK, which we'll take a look at in another video, but you can download the application and uh, this is great for PC repair techs and also it's great for uh, home users that want to uh, create backups and restore backups of their user profiles. So let's take a look. You've got three sections here, create or update a backup. And it says backup user profiles with options to choose which folders to back up. You can back up the user settings, securely restorable application data folders, and back up any additional directories that you want to back up during this process. And we can do that by the start backup. There's also restore backup as well, which allows you to uh, restore your data. And we'll take a closer look at that after we've done a backup. So we can also restore from a custom location as well, which is from your hard disk or SSD or windows.old folder. So let's take a look here by going to the backup or create a backup. So you can see my user profile has been selected and I'm going to back up this user profile. So we can check all or none and you can see here, select the user profile folders you want to back up. You can back up all of the folders here that are listed or you can just take the check mark out of ones you don't want to back up. So this is basically how easy it is to set this up. And this is very useful because if you've got a lot of stuff here, you can quickly uncheck stuff you don't want to back up. So you can leave all of these check marked if you wish. I'm just going to do the pictures here because I've got a few pictures that I want to back up here. But if you want to do all of them, you can do. Now, another thing you can do is back up to uh, any destination, for instance, like a NAS drive, or you can back up to, uh, you know, an external drive or something of that nature. So here is all my pictures that I'm going to back up here. So we're going to copy all these to a directory on my uh, NAS drive. So let's go ahead. So additional folders to back up. You can add folders for custom areas that you might want to back up. So maybe you've got a separate area. You keep a folder which has all your special stuff in. And again, you can back all that up uh, by just adding this folder here. Yes, I know I spelt sort wrong. I hit the P instead of the O. Pretty sure someone's going to pick up that in the uh, comments section. But if you want to remove it, you could just highlight this and remove it from your list if you want to remove some folders from your list. So now we're ready to move on down to the next section, which is giving your backup folder a name. I'm just going to leave this as the computer name here and the uh, username of the account. And again, we can now create a backup in a folder of our choice. So you can back up to external drives. I'm just going to hit the browse button here and I'm going to be backing up to my Synology NAS. So let's go ahead and go to network and we should see under network our NAS should appear. I'm going to click on this one here and this will show us our um, network drives or folders that we can uh, access. So I'm going to go to my YouTube backup here and I'm going to right click on here and I'm going to put another profile inside here. I'm going to call this profile backup. Uh, you can call yours whatever you like and I'm just going to drop everything into this folder here just to show you basically uh, how it works. So let's go ahead and uh, click on this and select folder. And you can now see we've got a location on our NAS drive that we're going to back up all our user profile data to. Now, another thing to do here is you can copy only new and outdated files. This is useful for updating an existing backup. So you can check mark this if you want to, if you have an existing backup already done by uh, this tool here. You can also skip copying system files and skip copying hidden files. Once you're happy, hit the start backup, and this will go ahead and start to back up uh, to our NAS drive on that folder that we just created. So let's go and take a look at the actual folder and see all the data that's been copied across there. So let's go over to our network tab here, and we can then click on 
our NAS drive and then we can navigate to YouTube back up here. And what I'll do is I will go to the actual profile backup and you should see some files inside here. There's my desktop and the name we called it. And there is the user's data inside here. Here is all my pictures and there we go. And they're all copied across that quick, very quick and easy to do as you can see here. And they open up just fine. So a quick way to back up to that location. So now what we're going to do is restore uh, data back as well. I wanted to show you that uh, process as well, which is very quick and easy to do with this program. So let's go back to the main menu and take a look at the Restorer Backup. So from the Restorer Backup, we can either do a complete restoration from a previous backup, or we could do a partial restore of our previous created backup. We can do an automatic creation of the same user accounts or a quick user mapping. We can also restore additional backup directories from this location. So let's go ahead and click on Restore now. Now there's also restore from a custom location, which we're not going to cover in this video, but you can restore from hard drives to SSD or from the windows.old or from a different volume. So we're going to click on restore now and go to that um, path where we backed our profile up. And I'm going to click on this backup info and click on this and that opens up in the program here. So now we can restore from a location which we got, which is our pictures. So I'm just going to take the check marks out here. And you can see here, I'm going to leave the check mark in, restore only missing files in the destination. So let's go ahead and delete some of these so we can restore just these ones uh, to our folder. So if you want to just restore uh, from missing files, you can do that as well. Or you can restore all of it back over to your computer. But we're just going to concentrate on restoring just the deleted ones here. But if you wanted to restore all of those files, into that location you could do. So once I'm done here and I'm happy with my selection, I can then go ahead and click on the Restore Now button. So let's go down to the Restore Now and Restore, and that's now done. And all of those files should be restored, the ones that we deleted. So let's take a look inside this folder, and there they are right at the very top. They're the ones that have just been restored back to the uh, folder after I deleted them. Now, if this folder was empty, I could restore all of the data from my NAS drive to this location. I'll leave the link and information in the video description. If you like this type of content, then check out my YouTube channel. I've got over 2,500 videos on how to do stuff, building computers, how to fix stuff, backing up, you name it, it's all up there. There's tons of stuff up there to check out. Also, while you're there, hit the subscribe button and click the bell and click all to be notified when we upload new videos. Also, if you want to support me a little bit more, you can hit the join button next to it. I have three tiers of support. For instance, if you join the second line of support for $4.99 a month, you'll get your name added to the end credits of my videos and a bunch of other different perks as well. So check those out. Anyway, with that said, that's going to be about it. If you want your name rolling up on the screen just like these people, then that will be the second line of support. I really do appreciate everyone who joins my YouTube members group, whether it be Tier 1, Tier 2 or Tier 3. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I shall see you again for another video real soon. Don't forget the links are in the video description. And also, if you want to join our Discord server, the link should be down there also. See you over there. Bye for now.